Hey everybody, Tommy here with Outrider USA. Hope you're doing great today. I'm here with the Coyote, and today we're gonna go through some details on the upgrades that have happened on this machine stock from the factory since the last video that we did about a year and a half ago or so on the full Coyote overview video. You can check out that video. That's gonna go into everything in detail. But this video adds on that and shows all the additions and the modifications, upgrades, and details we've poured over to make this an even better four-wheel drive machine. So check it out. All right, so the most significant change on the Coyote that we've made is in the suspension. The suspension is already just amazing on this machine. Full air suspension, fully independent, lots of travel. It's It's got just an incredibly smooth ride, even over super rough terrain. We've gone even further in on that, and we've got an extra one inch of wheel travel all the way around, so it can soak up bigger bumps before coming close to bottoming out. It's also got an additional one inch of uh, ground clearance, so you can get over bigger rocks and roots and stumps. And that's also raised the seat height by about an inch. So that means that if you're transferring in from a wheelchair, or you're transferring in from just any chair, or you're just walking and sitting down on the machine, it's gonna be a lot easier to get in and out of this. Um, so that was a nice improvement as well. All right, so next we're gonna talk about the parking brakes a little bit. So it used to be on the older units that we had an individual separate parking brake. Now we've got dual parking brakes and uh, they're really intuitive to use. You can use them with a single hand. You also can't accidentally leave them on, which is really important. They'll release automatically when you pull the brakes. So this allows you to be stopped on a steep hill. You can engage the parking brake, get on and off the machine, and the machine's gonna stay firmly in place. Uh, so a nice, solid, standard upgrade on all these new machines. One of the options that we're most excited about introducing now is the truck bed option. So it's a really low slung cargo area. Of course, the cargo rack is something that we've offered for a long time, but this truck bed sits much lower on the frame and it gives you much more vertical volume to be able to carry a lot more gear and keep your center of gravity low. It's awesome for carrying large hiking backpacks. So it's a really nice way to carry a lot of gear. And you can just sling it over the top of the seat and when you're ready to go, pull it right off and be on your way down the trail with it. Additionally, there's going to be a hitch that we'll be offering soon for this to be able to tow and have a trailer behind you. Um, so lots of new things that can be done with that. It's a pretty open platform. Uh, some folks are using Pelican cases, hard cases on them, or big dry bags, whatever you like. It's a nice uh, low slung platform so you can have a lot of utility out of the back of the Coyote. With the introduction of the truck bed option on the Coyote, we have, of course, all different size loads that folks are carrying on the back of these machines now. And we wanted to accommodate that with the rear suspension. So traditionally we had a coil shock on the rear, which does have some adjustability for different loads, but the air shocks that are now standard on the rear of the Coyote allow you to really fine tune in the pressures. So if you're never carrying a heavy load, you can set this up nice and plush, or if you're hauling something heavy on the back, you can load this up with more air so it's gonna carry that load nice and balanced and you can get it set up perfectly for what you're doing with it. So we've updated the push button assembly to make it more intuitive to use. So our power button now has a power symbol on it and it lights up when the bike's ready to go. And then a reverse button is illuminated red when you're in reverse. One of the cool little refinements that's tucked away on the new Coyotes is the primary steering pivot. So this is the point where the handlebar attaches to the frame of the machine. And it used to be that we used a little bronze bushing there and it worked fine, um, but we really wanted to offer something that was even smoother, less drag, more durable. So now we've got oversized ball bearings there and those are gonna last a lifetime. And you can feel it when you're steering the machine that it's smoother and uh, it's more solid than ever. We have a lot of people that hunt with the coyote, uh, whether it's deer or turkey or whatever it might be. And of course, when you're out in the woods, it's super important that the machine's quiet, which the coyote is incredibly quiet. It's low profile, so it's really hard to see in grasses. Um, and with sight, you know, you wanna make sure that your lighting uh, isn't, isn't uh, telling uh, your presence. So we've incorporated some things on the coyote to make it even easier to shut all your lights off. Um, we've got a quick headlight disconnect up front 
that you can just pull the plug on the headlight. And in the rear, of course, quick disconnect for the whip and the taillights. But now we have a centralized plug as well to where with one pull of the plug, uh, turns off all the lights on the machine. So that makes it really easy. Guys, if they're going out hunting, can just pull that plug and they're gonna be super, super stealth. So a nice, simple uh, improvement on this next generation Coyote. All right, thanks for watching guys. That concludes this video about all the new updates on the Coyote. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, we love to hear your feedback. Uh, if you've spent time on the Coyote and you've got any ideas on how to make this machine even better, we'd love to hear it. And uh, we hope to see you out there. Hope to see photos and videos of you guys riding. Please, uh, our team very much enjoys seeing, seeing uh, all the adventures that you guys are getting out on. So thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.